Hey everyone, Casino Duck here, your wannabe weekend woodworker. Thank you for tuning in for part two of our elephant art build. We have two of them scrolled out and we have one more to go. This one's going to be a lot easier on me because there's definitely less holes in it. I do want to stop and give a shout out to Kimbo. Uh, thank you Kimbo for those uh, uh, tips and techniques on the scroll saw that are really going to help me out. I greatly appreciate you pointing that out for me. On that note, let's go ahead and let's get started on this. Okay, let's get started here. Alright, when, when, when I do start on these little things right here, I always like to get the smaller ones first just because if you cut out this big one, it, it really can get kind of shaky and stuff and it could fall apart on you. So let's go ahead and get started on this one right here. completed and now it's time to start working on the frame and I got this piece of maple here and that's what we're going to uh, make the frame out of so let's go ahead and start ripping it down here at an inch and a half and what we're going to do here is now we're going to go ahead and uh, cut them to the length. The length of my uh, frame is going to be 47 inches so let's just go ahead and 
get that done. Okay, I already have my stop block set and we're ready to go at 47 inches. Let's give it a cut. Up to cut the width, which we're going to go cut it at a 12 and a quarter inch. So let's give that one a cut. Okay, I have my router table all set up. This is my little makeshift uh, router table. It does the job, actually, um, until I can actually build a better one. Uh, and that will uh, happen soon, I hope. But until then, this is what we got. The way I'm going to make this frame is I'm actually going to kind of cheat a little bit. I'm going to use my rail in style bit that I have on my router here. I'm not really interested at all of removing any of the artwork or anything, so it's going to be kind of kind of permanently based into this frame. So why not? Let's let's make it a little bit as easy as easy as we can on, on ourselves. So let's uh, go ahead and get started with that. Start making the uh, the frame. Plug it in. Okay, we got one more to cut. Uh, we're going to have August, well, we're going to have two rails that actually go in between the uh, the elephants, and I'm going to go ahead and just cut one piece, uh, and then we'll we'll actually trim it down once we kind of get it to size, and we'll we'll get a better idea of exactly the length and stuff that we want. So let's get that one cut real quick. Okay, let's put some forty fives on these things real quick. Okay, doing a little bit of dry fitting uh, just to make sure everything lines up like I wanted to, and make sure everything fits in. Um, I definitely, uh, I definitely uh, like like doing a dry fit because I can look at this and look at my distance, get a better feel exactly what I want for my. Uh, the rails that are going to go across splitting them up and it looks like it's going to be nine and three quarters. Very awesome. So we'll go ahead and get those cut real quick. Okay, I went ahead and cut these at nine and three quarter. Got two of them here. These are the two rails that we're going to be using between the elephants. I got this little attachment here because when I get to here I don't have anything really other than the ball bearing for it to slide on. So hopefully this is going to give me just a little bit more support when we run it through there. Let me plug it in. And see how we can destroy it here.
trim work here to do, but other than that, let's go see how it fits. Okay, we put a little dry fit on here. Seeing that it looks, as you can see, it looks like it's starting to come together just a little bit. I do have some little bit of cleanup to do around here and here, but it's so far I'm happy with it. So uh, down here we're just a little bit longer. Not a problem. We're going to mark this, and I got everything shoved up right where I want it to be. And I'm just going to mark this, and I'm just going to trim the bottom of it. No big deal. Get that done real quick. Okay, do a little dry fit on this. All right, I want to see and make sure that I like everything how it's hooking up and nice and square. So before we glue it up, I want to put it in a clamp. center those off just a little bit if I could. So I am just a tad short on those. It's a little bit longer than nine and three quarter, but such is my life. But I like that. I think we're going to glue it up. I think we're going to glue it. We'll clean it up a little bit and then we're going to glue her up. And the last step that we're going to do though for this right here, we, I, I do want to key these, these 45s. I definitely I want to put a key in them give a little bit more strength other than just a flat glue edge we're going to put a key in them that way when you hang it up it'll last a little bit longer all right so let's get started on that some keys in it okay make sure everything's where I want it to be yay We'll return. Okay, we got everything glued up and set. I'll let it set for about maybe an hour, so it's not completely glued up. Um, but I do want to go ahead and put some keys in it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with that. Got my jig already set up. I got it lined up where I want it to go. And what we're going to do is I, I, did, I didn't put my dado in. I'm just going to go ahead and run it twice. I'm just going to move it over about an eighth of an inch and go ahead and you know give me just the bottom probably be about like a three sixteenth or so ish kind of uh, cut in it. So let's let's go ahead and get that started. Just a bit on the second door. 
Okay, I got this little bitty strip of oak here uh, from my scrap pile, and I think we'll just go ahead and use this for the splines or the keys, okay? So, so let's go ahead and just cut it into four little pieces. Okay, I got them fitted in here and I feel like they're fitting pretty good. So let's just put a little glue on. Okay. Let's go ahead and let that set for about 30 minutes or so, and then we'll just get on cutting those, or actually we'll just sand those down. Well that's going to do it for part two of the elephant build, or the elephant art build. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, don't forget to su subscribe and leave me a comment below. Um, don't forget to also tune in for uh, part three, and hopefully we're going to be able to finish it up then. And to finish off this, uh, this video here, i like to show you something that I built a little while back. And here you go. Hello everyone, Casino Doc here. Just wanted to show you something that I made in the past. This is a bookcase. Uh, my wife requested it and we saw it in a wood magazine. And the, the issue and everything is right there. Show you a couple other things about it. I did use the carve right on the corner. If you can't, go ahead and pan up here and take a pan on the side here on these carvings. This is one of the things I really, really like about the carve right. Uh, it, it's definitely worth its money when it, when it pumps out stuff like this. That little carving down at the bottom. Everything was made out of pine uh, and, and plywood, pretty much. Uh, the plans do call for a little bit of different type of wood, but uh, I got a good deal on the pine, so heck, you know. Uh, the finish is a mahogany type. I can't really, a red mahogany, I think it was. Uh, the total cost for this build was about 180 something dollars, a little under 200 dollars, so it wasn't really too bad. And to me, in my opinion, it looks like it's definitely uh, worth a little bit more than that. So, hey, thanks for looking. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Give me any questions that you have, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.